Hi there, Kent Lawson from Smart House Electric. I have brought you here to my home tanning bed here. Uh, a pretty basic unit, uh, but it still has an electronic board and 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 uh, compensation for um, uh, for the induction and all this kind of good stuff that you will find in a more advanced machine. So I'm going to give you some general troubleshooting skills uh, on this machine and um, to give you an idea that you then can replicate to uh, to the machine that you particularly are looking at. In our last video, we looked at how to measure voltage and how to use a uh, one of these uh, multimeters. Um, this time here, we're going to look at current. How much amperage are we pulling? So we're going to be using our clamp-on meter. And again, this is the kind of uh, gauge that I recommend for this kind of work. And so what's nice about this is that we're not going to need our probes, our wires this time. This machine here is, is recommended for a 30 amp circuit. And so it's going to be some... It's gonna maximum be up in that that uh, that range, or else we're gonna be popping our, our breakers. So we certainly want to know. But so this a gauge here has a max of 20 into this range, where it'd be a little bit more precise, and then 200, which is a little bit more coarse. But it will still give us plenty of a good idea of uh, how this tanning bit is doing as far as the current load and why it's it potentially is popping a break or we think that it's pulling just too much juice so let's find out if it is we need to now find a good spot to measure current here we're lucky that the power from the back here coming in you could you could have clipped up these zip ties here and um, and gotten the wire out a little bit for us to get around it Lucky from for us in this instance here, the power get, goes in through these connectors here. So each leg is passing through here and here, and we should measure the same volt. Uh, sorry, same amperage on both legs, or else we have some kind of a, a another problem, because uh, there's no neutral on this machine. Uh, let's measure some current, and first. So we just simply just put on and let a wire pass through and let's turn on. Let me see if I can arrange it here so we can all see. Hopefully you can see it there. Alright, let's turn on the machine. Hopefully it doesn't throw off the focus too bad. And as you can see, 22.8, so we're okay on our uh, circuit here, and it is not a significant um, high current load, it's okay for this size tanning bed. So what could be wrong, oh, let's turn it back off again. So what could be wrong if all of a sudden your current load starts to rise um, out of nowhere? All lamps are firing up just fine. Um, well, something that can incrementally make your current load grow and grow and grow is when a capacitor or your capacitors are starting to wear off. And why is that? It's because that they will have less function and then these ballasts here creates what's called an inductive load on the power and that creates a time difference between voltage and current and that creates what's called a blind effect which is a force that uh, makes the machine pull more power but the power just goes into heat. So it's it's a very unwanted uh, effect, and that's why the capacitor is there. So the way you rectify that is by replacing the capacitor. And so this is the way to measure current on a tanning bed. And again, make sure that you're safe 
um, not to touch anything. Um, there is copper or anything metal. Uh, you see an exposed wire, don't touch it. So um, be safe and uh, good luck. Thanks for watching.